Hey guys, PK here. So here's a quick video about how to fillet a surf perch. Now there are many ways, but this is just my way of doing it, okay? So let's begin. Okay guys, here's a red tail. Now let me show you the spines on the back, okay? These spines right here, they are very, very sharp. So be really, really careful when you handle them, okay? Spines down here in the anal fin, and as well as spines on the pectoral fin back here. Right, I'm gonna make one cut here. There. When you are filleting these guys, just take your time. Don't go fast. Because if you go fast, you're gonna mess up and cut your finger. I'm just going along the backbone here. Okay, and then you got the rib ca cavity here, and then there's a, these are the pin bones. Just cut through those. Rip cage, go along the rib cage. There. Okay. So there it is. So we're going to leave that right there. We're going to flip it over now. Do the same thing. Cut here. Go light with a knife. Be gentle, just don't, don't try, you know, you go too fast, if you press too hard, you'll slip and cut your hand. So just be, be aware of that. Here's a rip cage. Okay, so the reason I leave that fillet on the bottom is to help support the fish up. Okay, so it's just easier to fillet this one. That's why I leave it down there. You can cut it off first if you want, but I like to leave it down there. Okay, there's the first fillet. Now we're going to flip it over. Now, this one is also done. Okay. Okay, so there's our fillet. So for this one, okay, just like that. So there's our first fillet. Now we're going to do the other one. These are also crap bait, the skins. Okay, and there's our second fillet. Now these guys have pin bones right here. You can run your finger there and you can feel a pin bone. Those are pretty sharp. So we want to take those out. So I'm gonna cut the cavity out, the uh, stomach cavity. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in the pin bones. It's gonna stop right about here. So about an inch and a half. 
Okay. That's a big fillet right there. Now you see how this one is kind of bloody? Um, that means I didn't, um, I didn't bleed it good enough. So it's really important that you guys bleed it. Get all the blood out. I didn't do that with this one. I did, but I didn't bleed it good enough. Okay, sometimes you get bones right here too, the the um behind the uh where the anal fin is. And that bone is connected to the anal fin and sometimes you can feel it right there, so you wanna cut that out. Okay. Again, there's a there's the um pin bone. So I'm going to go right across here. And you can feel it. There's no more pin bone there because it's right there. And it's going to stop about right there. Okay. That's crab bait. All these little chunks you can use for crab bait. Okay, that is nice fish taco right there. Nice fillet. Okay, another good fillet there. Pin bone. There's the the bone attached to the anal fin. Take that off. Make sure you take these bones off because the perch, they have very, very strong bones. It's not like a trout where it's soft, you can just chew it. But these guys are pretty serious, so make sure you get them all out. Okay, pin bone can stop out right there. All right, guys, there we go. Also, now you see these, some, some of these are, most of these are have pretty greenish meat, and that's what you want. Um, if you don't bleed it, they're gonna be kind of reddish, and you don't want that. So these are looking really, really nice. Just super fresh.